I'll just show you how I start this and then I'll call Sarah back when I've about done it. So I'm going to do that shape. I'll put it in here. Uh, and do the little saw cut for the rebate first. Most people will be probably aghast, or whatever the word is, at what I do now. I've got this little, I've got various saws, but this one has no set on it. And to get this nice and accurate, the saw cut, I put it to the line of cut with a square, and like I say, there's no set on this. I'm only going down a sixteenth of an inch, but I want it to be as accurate as I can get it. So, I run the saw alongside the square. I only do it with this saw, no other saw. Take the teeth off. Bad practice. But this gets it nice and accurate, especially on this up these hard woods. It's amazing how long it takes to get down a sixteenth in these difficult timbers. That's roughly there. Now I do the first bit of this cut here. This is the bottom, the mouth. I just do a little cut. I put it in vertical cut, get a better saw, using my thumb as a guide, See what I've done. Now I'm going to cut the front infill off into that saw cut. deep enough with the other cup. I'll use this saw now. That's it. Let's see what I've done. Cut the rebate next. I told you it's going to be a little round there, so I'll draw that line in. You can gauge this, but that's near enough for William. Okay. Now I've got that saw cut there and that sawn off. I told you it's going to be a little sixteenth of an inch rebate. Got my gauge still set up.
little tiny here we go the end grain facing up tighten the vise because it's a little tiny rebate I put that hopefully in the saw in the gauge line make sure it's in the saw cut I don't have to worry about that for a moment but it's nearly there as it is I sometimes well I'll do it to show you clean this bit off as best I can with a blunt chisel it's much easier to do with a blunt one than it is with a sharp I know because I've done a thousand of them <laughs> now what I do is I've got to saw that bit out or do something with it I normally get a coping saw get the names Ready? Tighten my coping saw, guide it, guide it with my thumb. I've got into a habit of keep blowing the sawdust away and even when I was watching one of my videos in home Sarah says what are you blowing for? I was watching the sawdust and I was blowing the video <laughs> I didn't realise I was doing it I can go this way, move it to this end. Follow that saw cut down. Right, I've put a piece of wood behind this because I'm going to go through with this coarse rasp. Uh, I normally have this piece dead low in the jaws, but this is a better idea and I'm showing it for your benefit. Again, somebody, a mate of mine at the David Stanley sale gave me this, it was brand new. It would to buy it, it would have I don't know how much that'd cost 30 quid or more, I bet. It's a Nicholson.
right. I've smoothed that out. Work into this line here. The shape is going to be a bit different to what I drew, but this is still a traditional shape, having a round and then into a flat bit as it approaches the mouth. That line isn't quite straight, it, so blunt gouge. Let me just sharpen it. Upside down. Quick as that. Sarah's in my light. I'm just straightening that up a little. It's not that important, as you will see. That's that. Take it out the vice. Discard that. There's my mouth line. I've got to take a little bit off of this end, get a bit more accurate. Using my plane. You can do it with a file. Some of that. Line's still there, look. Right, now I just shape that a little. 